Let's look at something a little bit more entertaining. You won't see these guys many places. This guy came from Madrid Zoo. He's uh, one of the first um, captured bred in Europe. It's a crocodile monitor from Indonesia. This is the world's largest, uh, well, the whole debate of large. What's big, length or girth? This is the longest lizard in the world. So this animal is longer than a Komodo dragon, okay? But if we're looking at girth, obviously the Komodo beat it. Same with the whole retic anaconda debate, which is bigger. This is a tree dwelling monitor lizard. You know, reports when you talk to the locals of Indonesia, sort of dating back years, that these used to come down into a village, take children up trees, etc. Not likely, but at the same point, they are a fantastic animal. We'll feed him in a bit, just to frost in some chicks. Because he's uh, obviously, he's captive bred, he's, re he's very, very tolerant of people, he likes his head being stroked. Lovely animal. Again, not a monitor lizard, although many people do think of them as monitors. We've got a South American lizard from Argentina. This is a black and white tigu. Again, if you look at this guy here, we can look at, look at his scales. If you look at each scale, we have what we call osteoderms. These are the likes of armor plating over the animal. Absolutely stunning monitor lizard. Notice the tail, uh, notice the tongue flicking. This is uh, monitors and tegus. They have what we call, um, what you're probably aware of as the Jacobson organ similar to snakes. So these lizards are probably more related to snakes than they are other lizards. He's quite overweight. I know I can hardly talk, but he is on a diet. This guy came from a zoo up in Essex. He was uh, given to them as an unwanted pet and moved on to here. With all lizards, big, fat, chunky tail shows healthy animal. Big, fat, chunky gut overweight animal. But he's on a diet of chicks, egg, he takes mice, he loves grapes, all sorts of fruit. Okay, we we'll pop him back. Come on matey boy. We're gonna have a bit of a whiz over and you can have a bit of a laugh and watch me probably get bitten. This is by another tigu. This is a, a golden tigu. Normally I wear gloves, but I've been persuaded for some bizarre reason not to use gloves today, so uh, thank you very much. Now golden tigus are a much smaller tigu. Here's the little man. So this is a baby. This is end of last year's. This was captive bred. Most of these you see are wild caught. But this little guy I recently picked up in Germany. Absolutely lovely animal. Surprisingly, even though he's only little, he's still got a powerful bite. We're putting him back so he doesn't get too stressed. This animal is still going to grow, nose to vent, good size. Notice the tongue flicking, just like his big brother over there. Now, still keeping on the Tigu monitor feed, gonna have a look at an absolutely fantastic Australian species. I think one of the most perfect lizards, especially as a, as a pet species. Unfortunately, you don't see enough of them about. And that is, uh, whether you want to call them spiny tail monitor, ridge tail monitor, or just refer it to them as an Aki. If I can find the key, here he is. Hello. This little boy is called Alan. He's practically fully grown. They don't get a great deal bigger than this. This is Alan, Alan the Aki. Again, notice the tongue flicking. We'll talk a bit more about that in a bit. We watch him. Absolutely stunning animal. 
So with these guys, um, Aki's, surprisingly, do quite well in groups. Uh, a lot of people keep these in sort of groups of threes, fours. Um, I did have a breeding group at one point, you know, quite easy to, quite easy to breed from. Um, I haven't had too much trouble. But the uh, main difficulty at the moment is getting hold of females. They are literally like rocking horse. What's it? Right. But as you can see, they make a great pet. They're a nice alternative to a bearded dragon. They really are. Just a little bit pricier. Being like all uh, flora and fauna from uh, Australia, they are quite hard to get hold of in relation to other reptiles purely because of the uh, import and export laws there are in Australia. So all of these animals are guaranteed that to be captive bred. None of these are coming out of Australia anymore. Okay, let's pop this little man back.